Hi guys, I'm Adam Conaro. I'm the Creative Technical Director here at Powerhouse Animation. Uh, today I just want to show you a quick trick in After Effects for how to hack through layer order. So in After Effects I have a blue solid and a red solid, and they're both 3D objects and I threw a camera in there. So when I rotate around with our camera we can clearly see how the blue object is intersecting with the red object. However, if I wanted to force these to not intersect, a quick way to do that is just to throw in an adjustment layer in between these two layers. So Control alt y to throw an adjustment layer. So now when I move around with our camera, they're still moving exactly the same way, but now that blue object is forced to be on top of the red object. Conversely, if I put the red on top and the adjustment in between them, now the red is forced on top. The reason for that is by default, After Effects renders the top layer to the bottom layer unless there's Z depth. If there is, it always looks at the Z position for an object. Objects closest to the camera get rendered on top. Objects furthest away get rendered on bottom. Or if they're intersecting, like in this case, they just intersect. Uh, throwing in an adjustment layer can like break that and essentially force After Effects to look at layer order, like top to bottom, instead of z-depth. Uh, sometimes this will work against you, but sometimes you can actually use it to your advantage to achieve a certain effect. Another way to achieve the same hack is instead of using an adjustment layer, we can use a layer style. So right click, layer styles, drop shadow, and it does the exact same thing where it forces the layer with a layer style to be on top. Let's say we didn't want that drop shadow visible. A um, quick, real easy thing to do is just change the opacity of that drop shadow to zero. So now visually, it looks exactly the same, but it's looking at layer order instead of Z depth. This is also beneficial because it's a little harder to come by when you're looking at somebody else's projects. Let's say you were to make an adjustment layer and called do not delete. Well, what if the person after this is just like a jerk and they just delete that layer? and your project's ruined. That's why I personally like to go with layer styles with an invisible drop shadow. Kind of an example of how you might use this, here's a typical After Effects scene where we have multiplaning with a camera and 3D objects. Let's say we're just kind of messing around with like Z-depth with this, where we're, where we're just kind of messing with parallax, and we're just kind of pushing layers backwards and forwards. You can see as I update these layers in 3D space, their layer order is drawn accordingly based on Z-depth. So now, like, this big old pile of organic kale is in the middle, but because its z-depth is higher, it's rendered on top. Well, what happens when I throw a layer style on that? Is that it forces it back on the bottom. So that's basically it. Uh, if you run into an instance where you can't understand why your layers are not rendering in proper z-depth, uh, it might be because you have a layer style on them or you have a 2D adjustment layer in between the layers that are supposed to be intersecting.